Hi, I just wanted to come back and give everyone an update on my prostate cancer journey. Thank you for all your comments and support um, that you've provided over my YouTube channel. So um, it turns out that my cancer had returned. Um, I have been monitoring my PSA um, since my last round of radiation and unfortunately um, my PSA continued to rise and at one point was rising pretty swiftly. Um, the good news, however, is the fact that um, I had long conversations with my doctor and what um, I decided to do was allow my PSA to continue to rise. Um, the number that we um, sort of capped out at was five and I, would, I got as high as around 3.75. Keep in mind that's without a prostate um, and that's after one round of radiation. Uh, the reason for that is um, I had had a couple of scans and we were unable to see any of the cancer, um, which meant the doctor was recommending lifelong Lupron hormone suppression. Um, I was not ready to do that. Um, for my own personal reasons and decided that um, I wanted to allow the cancer to grow in the hopes that we could pick it up on a scan and therefore treat it. We could not move forward with other treatment options like radiation unless we knew where it was and could target it. So that's what we did. And fortunately, um, about two months ago, we found it on the scan. It turns out that um, although we removed a few lymph nodes during my prostate um, surgery, um, it, the cancer had traveled up the prostate chain. So the good news was we could now um, set a course of radiation. I am 10 treatments in. I've also taken a three month dose of Lupron. This is the exact same treatment I had before, the only difference is we're able to radiate the new area. Um, what we'll do is we'll do a round of, I think it's 31 radiation treatments and then come back and do CyberKnife. Now the reason we're doing that is because the radiation that I'm doing currently um, radiates up and down the prostate chain, so it's getting a lot of the pelvic area, ensuring that um, we get the ideas we want to we want to radiate um, additional lymph nodes um, up the pro, up the lymph node chain where the cancer may be present and just is not showing yet on the scan. It too may be too small, so it's sort of a safeguard. We want to go up that lymph node chain and um, radiate more than just where it showed um, on the scan. The CyberKnife is a much more targeted um, radiation treatment, and we're going to go back and do that process to the specific lymph nodes that showed traces of cancer. So um, not great news that I have to go through um, radiation and hormone therapy again, but um, looking on the bright side of things, it does mean that if this treatment is successful, which we hope it will be, um, I may never have to go on long-term Lupron, long-term hormone suppression. Um, if nothing else, hopefully it buys me another 10, 20 years without that being um, you know, my option of treatment. This is critically impo important because they are making advancements in prostate cancer treatments every single day. And so my hope is that um, by the time I have to look at additional treatments, that there will be other options available. Right now, the, as you know, if you're following this as a prostate cancer uh, survivor, you know that after surgery and radiation, um, if you have a recurrence, there's very little um, in terms of the um, standard of care outside of Lupron um, for the rest of your life or an alternative basically taking that testosterone down to zero and starving the cancer. So um, I'm very optimistic about it. Um, I'm still uh, very much encouraged by the treatment plan. And I just look forward to finishing up the next 20 or so treatments. Um, this one, um, I, with this round, I will say 
I haven't had the severe night sweats. Um, I haven't had as severe mood swings, but we're still early. I'm only about three and a half weeks since the Lupron shot, so I, I, I may be speaking out of turn. Um, I am finding that I'm having a bit more issues um, just with um, intestinal issues based on the area that they're treating with radiation, um, which is common and um, is definitely treatable. So that's where we're at. I'll try to do better about giving you guys more recent updates, but I really wanted to make this update um, whenever I had a plan, a treatment plan in place and knew a little bit more information. As always, if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to them. Um, and I wish all of you very well.